Hey friends, welcome back to another video and welcome if you are new. So today I've got a Model 1's poly gel kit to review for you guys and I'm going to be creating these kawaii charm poly gel nails which have really been trending. So let's just get straight into this unboxing. So the first thing you get is this little instruction manual and then they also give you a hand file of course i really like these hand files they're really really pretty they also include these little flat dual forms as like a free gift but i'm not a huge fan of dual forms the flat ones are okay but um, i don't really like to use them so this is just what they look like and you also get your standard c-curved dual forms which i'm really not a fan of and i try to stay away from i have tried these in the past but i just have not loved them <laughs> so this is what they look like um as you can see it's quite curved and they're also quite thin i noticed that they weren't as thick as some others that i've tried you of course get your top coat and your base coat and i really like how the lids have like um different colors to them so i know what's what you get the really really good which i've been going on about this step for a while it's the model ones slip and it's really really good for poly gel i don't know what their formula is but it's really it just works so well with poly gel and here i'm just showing you that it's really well sealed as well you get some stuff to decorate your nails which i really appreciate and i'm really happy that they decided to put in this really um, versatile glitter because i feel like this is one you can use for a lot of nail sets and they also throw in these unique little light purple crystals which i haven't tried yet but they look very interesting and i will probably find like a set to use them in they also come with um it also includes a poly gel brush of course with the spatula on one end and brush on the other and that's pretty much it and now we're going to move on to the poly gel swatches so i'm just going to quickly take them all out and i was really excited when i saw this kit um online i was just like i've not tried anything like this before and i was really excited to try it out and upon this first swatch i was like so excited because the um little glitters inside were like first of all really thin i was worried they were going to be like these thick glitters but as you can see they're very thin and they're holographic and they're cute like they've got some butterflies in there some stars some hearts you've got some squares some hexagons circles i believe as well and every single one of these were absolutely beautiful i was so excited to put these on my nails like you don't even understand how excited i was for this um but yeah i'm here i'm just spreading them out because i feel like that swatch did not do them justice just showing you quickly what um, glitters you get in each poly gel the heart and the star one was my favorite and i also really like how each glitter is like a different holographic color and you'll see it more once i apply it on the nail but here i am using the model ones slip that it came with this kit just to quickly spread out the poly gel a little bit more the only thing i was a little bit worried about was um if these were gonna apply well on the nail like i thought this I kind of thought this wasn't as beginner friendly as I wanted it to be but um, I think it's definitely worth buying because it's just really really pretty. So I'm going to start off with my nail prep I guess. So I'm just applying a peel of base coat and I never grow or I barely grow any cuticles so I usually don't have to do that but here I'm just applying a peel of base and I'm kind of applying it on the edge of the nail on the skin a little bit so that the nails are just easier to pop off in the end and whilst that's drying I'm gonna size out my nail tips these are the extra extra long coffin nail tips from Amazon and I will link them down below because I've been using these forever and they're so so good so once I've sized that out on in the back i have my little uv light and i'm using my born pretty six in one nail glue and i really like this stuff because it's super thick and you can easily just um apply it to the nails without worrying about it like dripping everywhere as well so i'm just quickly applying that to the tips of the nails like inside the little well as you can see these tips have a really nice little well and this is just going to help me to apply the tips in a minute really quick instead of me having to do each one individually so i just like to apply a really tiny amount in there and kind of spread it out 
to the edges or the corners of the nail tip and then I press that onto my nail and hold it under the light. The reason I like to use this light so much is because it just it's just so perfect as you can see it's designed to um, kind of use it for pressing on your nails I guess. So I can just press my nail tips on and just hold it under the light and it works amazing and it also works for like the um, a prey method as well and the Femi Beauty method, it works really good. So now I'm just removing the shine off the nails and this is my Makart JD700 e-file and you can use my discount code Nails by Kamin for 15% off and today I wanted to keep the whole length of the nail tips so as you can see I'm just gonna quickly take my sanding band and remove like the little tab bit at the edge of the nail tip and that's just gonna help me um, get like a nice straight edge you can always file this off later but I just feel like it saves time and it's easier to just file as I'm like filing the, nail the nails anyway so yeah I'm just making sure that they're straight um, kind of roughly straight but just mostly trying to remove that little tab and I am just using like a fine grit sanding band as well and once I've removed the dust now I'm just gonna apply the Born Pretty Nail 6-in-1 nail glue again as my base coat and this stuff is really thick so it creates this amazing strong base um, and I've been using it ever since I got it it's honestly so amazing so that's what I'm using and I'm just applying that to my nails you have to apply really thin layers with this otherwise your nails will start to lose their shape and be like really bulky so um, as you can see there's barely anything on the brush as I'm just trying to drag the product through the nail tip um, and that will get it as thin as you can so just apply that and cure for 60 seconds And then I'm going to start moving on to poly gel application. So this is the first shade um, and it's the little ones with the butterflies and the colour of this glitter was like orangey blue and it was really pretty. I really did like it. Um, as soon as I started patting the poly gel, I noticed it was really soft, which was a huge plus because um, if you're experienced with poly gel, you know that poly gels with glitters in them they're usually a lot stiffer um, but this poly gel was very soft um, as all their other model ones poly gels are soft so um, this one was also like really soft too and I was very surprised that made this made it really easy to like move around and the only thing with this poly gel is that um, of course these glitters are quite um, big even though they're very thin and flexible to move around um, I did find that a lot of these glitters were like sticking up at the surface which is completely fine because filing filing fixed that really really well but um, yeah I feel like this isn't the most beginner friendly poly gel but um, I feel like it's definitely really fun to use and great to like invest in um, and I feel like this poly gel is very unique um, it's very it looks really cool on the nails in my opinion I guess you could also do this yourself by like mixing in your glitters with clear poly gel um, but it's just a little bit com more convenient and mess free when it's already like in the tube and ready to go so I thought that was a really cool kind of idea that Model Ones had come up with so thanks Model Ones for sending me this poly gel kit I really appreciate it and I think these poly gels are really cool and fun to work with let me know if you guys want me to do like another nail look with this poly gel kit I think I would really be down um, but yeah just let me know in the comments and um, this poly gel was really easy to work with but it did take me a while to get it as smooth as I can like even my other fingers um, after they've been cured you can see there's still like some lumpy sections it's not as even which again I didn't mind too much because I was hoping that filing was going to fix that the only thing I was worried about is that if the poly gels were going to look filed like I mean not poly gels the glitters that are inside were gonna look filed so you know when sometimes you file over a glitter poly gel that you are supposed to encapsulate and it looks like the glitters have been filed off or like ruined from filing I was worried that was gonna happen 
um, but surprisingly it didn't it didn't happen at all and it filed like a dream it felt so quick I feel like this was like my fastest filing routine today um, out of all my poly gel sets that I've done and I feel like that's because this poly gel is really soft and easy to work with um, and I feel like I also didn't have to smooth over the surface too much which was great um, the only thing like I said was pretty much on like the side walls where a lot of the glitter was like sticking out and I had to push it in quite a lot so other than that um, everything else was great um, this model one slip also again works amazing with this poly gel and I feel like it plays a huge role in my poly gel application sometimes especially with these model ones poly gels because they just start to move like a dream and I have used this slip with um, some other poly gels and it works with them really really well like if anything it makes that poly gel that harder poly gel um a lot softer and easier to work with so yeah i feel like if model one sold this slip individually on their website it would be really amazing because it's honestly such a great slip and i also want to say you can also use like uh, rubbing alcohol on these poly gels and base coat they work um just as well it's just um i like the, the formula of this slip so much so i just use that and yeah i just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's still watching thank you guys so so much for being here right now i really appreciate you please don't forget to hit the like button if you're enjoying this video and um also comment a little like diamond emoji to let me know you're still here i would love to say hi um and don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe. I have been uploading pretty much every other day now um, and just been really good with my, um, with my upload schedule. So if you don't want to miss out on any of my videos, then definitely don't forget to turn on your post notifications. And I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the thumb application and then I'll get back. So once all the nails were done, I was just admiring them as to how pretty they looked. Um, I thought they were so cool. But yeah, I did cure all of these for 60 seconds, making sure that they're really well cured. And I also lost the footage of me wiping down the nails, but I wiped them down super, super well with some rubbing alcohol and a lint-free wipe. And then I'm going in with my 100 grit um, hand file. And I'm just pretty much doing my filing routine. Today was super quick. It's just, it was like so easy to file the surface. I thought it would take me forever, but I don't know what happened. And it's just, I it went through, I went through my filing so quick today. But yeah, I did also like buff my nails because that's super important especially with like a clear set like this i would say don't worry too much about getting the nails extremely even and smooth because you're going to be going over them with huge charms so it doesn't really matter so now i'm wiping away the dust making sure they are dust free um actually no i'm buffing first and then removing the dust yeah um and once the dust has been removed i did wipe them down with rubbing alcohol and then i am going to apply the top coat that comes in the kit and um, I do like this top coat. It is good. It is shiny. The only thing is that sometimes if you don't cure it for like the full 60 seconds, uh, let's say you cure it for 30 seconds, it might still have a bit of a sticky layer. Um, so just make sure you cure this for 60 seconds, if not more. And um, the consistency of this top coat is thin, but it's okay because, um, I mean, this is a really affordable poly gel kit and model ones. Um, does do many like affordable products so i feel like for the price point this top coat is great um, and i'm just applying a super thin layer to all of the nails i do like to apply thin layer of top coat because i don't want to like take away from the shape of the nail because sometimes when you apply too much for example gel polish or top coat to the nails it can sometimes make the edges look a little wider and i like narrow nails so i just um make sure to wipe away any excess 
top coat that might have that might be on the side or something in the end I usually don't show this but um, I just get my finger and swipe along the side walls and just make sure that the nail is um, nice and thin slash narrow so once I've applied my top coat I make sure to do a full 60 second cure of the whole hand in my nail light And just before um, I finish, I also like to do the underside. I feel like this is really um, important to do with like a clear set like this because it just really helps the glitters to pop even more. Um, I guess we're applying charm, so it's not a huge deal, but in some areas where you can see the poly gel peeking through, it is important. So I just like to do it as an extra step and just again, go in with like a thin layer, don't over, Feel the underside and make sure it's not touching your skin um, I think one of my fingers did have some top have some top coat on there like this on the skin part but I didn't really burn too much I just noticed after I popped them off so now I'm gonna do another 60 second cure make sure they're really well cured and this is what they look like as you can see the different glitters have different colors which is super super pretty and now I'm gonna pick out my nail charms. These I had bought so long ago and I don't even remember um, where they're from. So I'm gonna try find them, but if I can't, then trust me, you can find these anywhere on AliExpress, on Amazon. Um, I'm sure there's dedicated nail art shops that do like nail charms and everything. So because I'm gonna pop these nails off, I'm just applying these with some base coat, holding them on the nail and curing under um, my little nail light. But if this was you doing a set that you want to keep on for a while, you really need to apply a thick um, nail glue or something thick that will just really grip onto those nail charms because you don't want them popping off or you don't want to lose any. That's just going to be really sad. So make sure you use like a probably poly gel to like cure these on. Um, and that's just going to give you like the best... Um, it's gonna be like your the best kind of glue for your charms in my opinion so I'm just applying those and holding them on I also did use the assistance of my flashy a little bit for the bigger ones that I couldn't get like on the underside I believe I used my flashy for this one but yeah this is pretty much the nail, the nail design it's pretty simple um, you can use any cool background you want and throw in a bunch of charms and the nail set will look cute I don't know if I'm brave enough to go out with nail charms with this length of nails but I feel like on a shorter set I definitely would um, but I really like like the whole aesthetic behind the long nails and the charms I think it's just so cute and it's just such a vibe so um, here I am just applying some cuticle oil this is the Makar cuticle oil and I'm just applying this really really well my cuticles have been quite dry recently and don't forget to rub in the oil once you're done And this is the finished look. I think these nails turned out so cute. I love the glitter poly gel. I love all the charms. I love the ice cream in particular. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know which one is your favorite nail. Have you tried this kit and what do you think of it? Personally, I think it's so cool. Would 100% recommend. Um, even if you're a beginner, like don't be put off by this or don't be scared to use this, these type of poly gels because um, they're still really worth it i mean they're not the easiest to work with but they are definitely just really cool and you can create some really amazing nail designs with this but the, here's just another view of the nails really cute and here's the underside honestly love these so much thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys